Hi and welcome back to this, I think we're up to the third part of this 10 part series that I'm doing on Icelandic pools, lagoons, hot springs, geothermal experiences, the high end ones aimed at tourists rather than the local swimming pools. Yet again, go to your local swimming pools, they're brilliant. Um, but today we are on the Golden Circle and we are at Fontana. Now Fontana is on the edge of the lake where the first Christians in Iceland in 1000 AD were baptised because they made the decision to convert to Christianity at Thingvelli, which is where Parliament is held, but they didn't want to get baptised in the cold water so they came down to Lagvant, which is a warm lake. It's not, well, the lake is not warm but it's got hot springs in the shore and so the water is warmer there, got baptised there. And then a thousand odd years later they decided to use those hot springs to make another spa on the side of the lake. So we're going to go there, have a look at that talk about it, see how it compares to the ones we've done so far, which is the Blue Lagoon and the Van Nature Baths, see how Fontana compares. So where do we start? We start with accessibility, by which I mean can you get there without hiring a car? Uh, not really. Long distance buses do stop in the village. It's a little bit of a trek from the bus stop to the, to the baths. Um, I wouldn't consider it on public transport myself. And also the long distance buses are very unreliable. I don't know if they're unreliable so much as um, they don't really exist as well as they used to. There used to be a full network of them. I had a bus, tra a bus passport in 2013, used to travel around the country. That system doesn't exist so I suspect rather than long distance buses it's now a network of countryside city buses. Um, in short, no you're not going to be arriving there by public transport. You're going to need a car for this one. As usual it is on various tours but it's not getting any points for being accessible without a car. It does have private showers. Um, I talked about this in the first one you need to have a shower without swimming costume and wash in the correct areas and so it does have private showers. It is just a curtain at the end of the the shower block is, is a long thin like six of them in a row about this wide and at the end one of them is curtained off but it does have a private shower so gets a point for that. Um, next up is facilities. So first is it swimmable. Now the thing about Fontana is it's actually four pools, four fairly small pools. The first one, the first one you'll encounter when you come outside is a long shallow one. It's got a raised section like it's got, it's rough, it's like a beach and it's got various basalt sculptures that you can sit in and against and play with and whatnot. And then there's a miniature swimming pool opposite there's a raised hot tub and then there's those three have got names the black lava pool which is at the front doesn't have a name I've asked Fontana what its name is hundreds of times and they just repeat the same three names of the other three pools so doesn't have a name um, yes it's swimmable you can swim in the little miniature swimming pool it's only about 10 meters long and it's a slightly weird dented rectangle um, so you can actually swim lengths in this one which is a Maybe I should give it a point for that. I'm not going to, but yeah, points for swimmable. It does have a hot pot. I just mentioned you've got the steps. There's a raised one that overlooks the lake. So point for hot pots. It has a sauna and a steam room, and these are powered directly by the hot spring in the ground. It stinks of sulfur because it is fresh sulfur straight from the ground. So it's a very uh, natural, authentic Icelandic experience, but sulfur does not smell nice. So um, I don't tend to stay in there long. It does have a waterfall. Um, by waterfall I mean it has a, a tap that that sort of squirts on you, but um, it's just like the one at the Nature Bath. Nature Bath one is taller and more curved and this is more of a... but if I gave Nature Bath the point then Fontana gets the point. And last of all extra facilities, it has the lake, you can swim in the lake. Um, it's supposed to be warm because of the hot springs in the shore that I mentioned earlier. My experience is that it's freezing cold but it's there, it's another thing you can swim in, so um, point for that. Which brings it up to six points for facilities. Um, next, your in-water experience, and we start as usual with in-water drinks. Now there is a window you can go up to and buy drinks, but you have to go into your changing rooms, get your wallet, come back out, buy the drinks. Um, so I'm giving it half a point because you know it's, it, it is you, you can get a drink but it's not in water drinks as such but yeah half a point. Fun extras this one has fun extras so um, it's got water shoes you just take them off the shelf and you can use them to go into the lake rather than stand in the sand and the soil and the dirt and the rocks and whatnot and it also has a load of kids toys in the water. 
Um, there are no free towels, but you can hire a towel, so you don't have to remember to take your own. You don't have to take a wet towel back home with you, so a point for that. And I believe you can hire robes as well. Um, I mean, you, you might want to walk from the changing rooms out to the pools wearing a robe. You might not. I personally, I never bother these days, but um, it's there if you want it. And last of all, the view. I've scored this out of three. I think I've already hinted that this one's got a good view. So it's on the edge of the lake and you can just see the lake and the mountains and the sky and it could be a good place to see the uh, Northern Lights. I've done Northern Lights trips out to it, not seen them, but then I've not seen them on the Northern Lights hunt on the way home either. So, but anyway, yeah, it's a great view. Lake, mountains, beautiful, three out of three, which gives it six and a half points for your in-water experience. Next category is my vibes slash what I think of it, my own personal score out of three. Um, I'm giving it three because I like Fontana. It's very small, it's very quiet, um, it's generally quite peaceful, particularly later on in the day, and it's just something about the fact that, that a lot of it is tiled that just sort of sets it apart from the others. The others tend to be quite natural and quite None of them are tiled. I don't want to use the word clean because they're all clean. They're all high-end tourist experiences. But the fact that it's tiled just makes it feel that a bit more clinical. And does clinical sound like a bad thing in the context of like a geothermal spa? Maybe it does, but um, yeah, it's tiled and it's got it's got a proper natural larvary pool. And that's nice. Um, I just I just personally like Fontana, so I'm giving it three points for that one. What about the price? We've had some variation in price so far. And this one, basic, adult, daytime, no frills, no cheap entry, no general standard entry, 4,990 Icelandic kroner, which translates to more or less £30, which I think is the cheapest of the three so far. Um, Blue Lagoon was 87 I think Nature Baths was somewhere around 38 or 40 something like that. Um, anyway, uh, Fontana is 30 and this is the first pool that I'm awarding points for price. This one gets one point for its price. So that's I think that's giving you a clue about where prices are going because I'm running this on a scale from minus five up to two to cover the variation in prices. Um, scoring them from one to ten skews the numbers horrifically. So um, one point to Fontana for the price. So where does that leave us with the total score? Nothing for public transport, one for showers, six for facilities, six and a half for experience, three for vibes, one for price, brings us to highest score so far by a long way, 17 and a half points. So just as a recap, Fontana 17 and a half points, Mivat Nature Baths 12 and a half points, Blue Lagoon at the bottom so far at nine and a half points. Uh, how do I feel about that? I feel like the, like Fontana is scoring points on technicalities, it has all the things. I think it's a little less than the sum of its parts. I like it. I don't think it's 50% better than Nature Bath. I certainly don't think it's nearly twice as good as the Blue Lagoon, but I do like it. I do like it more than the Blue Lagoon, maybe. I think I like Nature Bath slightly more than Fontana, but well, we've still got seven pools to go, so we'll see how that how that all works out. Whether anything's going to knock Fontana off the top, whether anything is going to lift the Blue Lagoon up seven more things to go and next week we are at the secret lagoon which is also on the golden circle so thank you for watching and i'll see you next week